Miss Glow. I got that juice. No AP. She got that juice. That's right. I got you Feel juicy entertainment the music. news. 96.1. Kiss. Yeah, I got your juicy entertainment news for Thursday. Uh, I am Legend, writer and producer, is speaking out to remind fans that the movie that Will Smith starred in was 100% made up. Now, as the pandemic continues, and of course, there's different COVID-19 variants that are starting to make headlines, there's been a continuous war of words between people who are openly advocating for people to get vaccinated and then the anti-vaxxers, who have actually a large group in the anti-vaxxers who are using the plot of I Am Legend as a significant reason why people should avoid getting vaccinated. So much so that a New York Times article showed where unvaccinated employees at an eyewear store in the Bronx were being interviewed about their decision not to get the COVID-19 vaccine. But surprisingly, they pointed to the uh, Will Smith film as an example of what happens when masses consume a bad vaccine. One employee said that she was concerned because she remembers that in I Am Legend, those who took the vaccine turned into zombies. Um, unfortunately, it didn't quite grasp the plot of I Am Legend because the movie, um, in the movie, the zombie outbreak was actually caused by an attempt to genetically re-engineer the measles virus in an attempt to cure cancer. Now, apparently, this faulty theory has been going on for a while. You might remember at the beginning of the pandemic last year, Will Smith jokingly addressed his role in spreading inf- in misinformation. Um... Well, you know, there was references to I Am Legend, but now it seems as though it's making headlines again. And so much so that the writer and producer, Akiva Goldsman, has now responded publicly to the craziness of the entire situation, saying, um, tweeting, oh, my God, it's a movie. I made that up. It's not real. Um, By the way, if you do feel like watching I Am Legend again, guess what? It is currently streaming on HBO Max, of course. Why not? Make some money out of the whole situation, right? Um, Now, if you've been following this season of America's Got Talent, you know the name Nightbird. The incredibly talented Jane Markzewski. And uh, she was uh, automatically moved um, to the live shows uh, for this year's America's Got Talent after she got Simon Cowell's golden buzzer. And she won the hearts of millions of people around the world with her original song, It's Okay. It's had over 2 million views on YouTube. Now, sadly, she should have been competing this week. But last week, she let all her fans know that she had to drop out when her health took a turn for the worse. She's been battling cancer. Doctors gave her a very grim diagnosis. Um, But she's remained positive, and that's what's so amazing about her. She's touched all of us. You've got to watch the auditions. If you have not seen them, you can go on YouTube. Um, She said, I have a 2% chance of survival, but 2% is not 0%. 2% is something, and I wish people knew how amazing it is. She is amazing. Uh, Last night, she made a surprise appearance on America's Got Talent during the first live results show. And, you know, Simon, who doesn't seem to be moved by too much, he was clearly moved. He was choking up, and uh, he actually revealed that he and Jane had spoken privately a few times since her audition and uh, said that, you know, she made the decision, rightly so, and that her health was her priority now. And he knows that she felt like she had let people down by leaving the competition, but he just wanted to say on behalf of everyone that she... She has not let anyone down. Uh, And even though she hadn't competed, she's already won. She's uh, made such an impact on so many people with her courage and who she is. And then Jane came and thanked uh, the crew at America's Got Talent for the moment to share her story. She said, I think we're witnessing such a beautiful picture of the human spirit and the triumph of the human spirit. And I think it's restored my faith in humanity a lot to see people come together just over the fact that we all hurt. We all suffer suffer and we all have the potential to overcome uh it's absolutely beautiful you've got to check out her song on youtube it will make your day i've got it for you right now here's nightbird it's okay kiss 96